Hello and welcome to our new Server 2008 Direct Happen session. In this session, we will talk about one of many new features which has been provided in Server 2008. As you can see, Server 2008 has not just new powerful vision, it has also much easier tools, much user-friendly tools to make our life easier. Now, how can make Server 2008 our life easier? We know that Server 2008 has inbuilt virtualization, more security, more, better web services in it, but is it enough to make our life, administrator's life easier? Um, we, in these days, everyone is going to holidays. Hmm? Is there, who doesn't like to go to holidays? <laughs> okay. Now, say um, you, James, you went, you're going this weekend to holiday, and you like to play golf. You buy one of the golf magazines and in the airport, and you notice that it's coming with that nice demo CD. You, you grab it, and it says, ah, oh, how to play golf in 10 hours. All right, you like it. You install it in your laptop, and... In the background, you are not noticing it, but this service is turning off Windows Update. What well, can happen? Now, you're going to holiday, making two weeks nice holiday, coming back. Now, in these two weeks, Windows has released, Microsoft has released many new updates, which has, because your machine was turned to get the automatic update, you are two weeks back, so your security signature is not current. You're going back to your network, plugging in your cable in, your cat cable, cat five cable in, and guess what? Boom! It doesn't allow you to connect to network. It says you got limited connection. Why? What do you think? This is what they think, huh? Yeah, this is one of the new functions from Server 2008. Now, what is Server 2008? How is Server 2008 protecting it? Why a net? Network address protection. How is this helping us to protect from stopping, for example, getting um, stop getting stuff from Windows updates? What this service does is it will check your current security signature with the server, and if it doesn't match, it won't allow you to get uh, IP addresses. It might give you two options: one, you uh, please contact your network administrator. Two, you might even can set up a update services internally, which will try to fix your computer. Anyway, how can we implement that? Um, as you can see, we are in Show 2008 screen, and this screen is giving us perfect vision. Oh, look at this, roles. We can add now new roles, so I just right clicking, add new roles, and from here, we just See which roles do we got installed. Um, at the moment, we got zero of 16 roles installed, and our goal is to install network access services. For this, we have to click network policy and access services. Click next. Uh, network services and access services will install us routing and remote access services, health registration authority, and host credential authorization with it. Once we click Next, you will see that our network policy server includes also routing remote access services, uh, routing, health and authority, host and credential authorization, as, my, uh, as I mentioned a few seconds ago. Our goal is just to make the server ready to install NAP. How can we do that? We just click Network Policy Server, click Next, and it is going to say, look, we got one message. This server might need to be restarted after installation completed. No problem. It's worth to get these services up and running. Then we just click in the installation. And the installation is continuing. I'm going to stop now. Um, finally, it's ready and it says Windows Automatic Update is not enabled. Oh, to install the latest update. We have to use Windows Update in it, okay? But don't worry about this warning now. We're just checking installation in 6 duties, and we can close our services. 
and in this two box here we can also see that one service is installed and this is the network policy server now is this ready of course not we just finished the first step the second step is we just got to start admin tools uh, network policy server and in the network policy server we have to also configure our net network access protection from here let's click in configure net it's going to ask you what is your connection method you can select um, I'm using a dynamic host configuration protocol and so the policy name has been automatically given to you which is NAT DHCP do you get any radius client? Uh, if you got a radius client you can just click add in our case we just go to next now do you got any DHCP scopes which you want to specify for one or more NAP enabled scopes if you if you yes, then you can click add. If not, you can just go with next. Again, it's in this option you will configure user groups and machine groups, which help us to grant or deny access to co computers or machine groups, of course. Uh, in this case, I'm sticking to the defaults as well. Now, remandition server group. It it wants us to specify a NAP remandition server group to. Uh, to store the software updates of NAP clients that need them. So, if we want, we can just click, uh, we can create a new group, or we can put a URL, troubleshooting URL. Remember I said uh, we can set it up so it can go to a server. In this case, I'm just leaving bang and continue it. Now, define NAP health policy. Aha. Uh -huh. So, if a computer is ineligible to get to connect to your network, what do you want to do? Do you want them to deny full network access to NAP individual computers and allow access to restricted network only, which might go to your update services, or it will go and allow full network access, but you will be notified. Of course, the most secure way is the first way to deny full network access. We click on next, and it's gonna tell us, look, all right, that's what you've done. You just created some help policies with uh, the ACP compliance. You named it, and here are your configuration details. Do you like them? If yes, this is all what we went through. If you like them, yes, click finish, and this service is ready to run. Now we're gonna do some practices regarding that, and I hope you enjoyed this new service which I believe is one of the most important features in Server 2008.